I think it's around six or seven o'clock. I am on my way to my old university here in Pasadena. Some of you may already know it, um, Art Center College of Design. Okay, so I'm trying to find my way as I used to go to school, um, the same route, it's been a while, and I don't have any kind of GPS or data right now because I don't have a cell phone right now. But anyways, that aside, I'm on my way to Art Center right now. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, you know, I used to work at the computer lab at Art Center, and I used to work with some really cool people, some really cool guys, and I put a, what is it, a shout out on my Facebook for a recommendation on somebody to fix my MacBook Pro, which has been totally cracking out on me lately. Like, it's totally broken. My personal MacBook Pro has a black screen on it and it boots up. I hear the chime when it boots up but it's a completely black screen which is was really upsetting to me because at that time I was really gung-ho on the YouTube. I was posting weekly and then BAM! My MacBook Pro just totally decides it doesn't want to work with me anymore. It doesn't want to be a part of uh, Tokyo Inc. I've been using Yuji's laptop which has also recently been having a problem. The screen has a tendency to black out, but doesn't always black out. Um, so it's not totally broken, but it's, I think it's almost there. It wants to say goodbye to Tokyo Incorporated as well. The guys that I used to work with like replied to me and they said that they would take a look at it for me. And I'm like, fantastic, yes, please, I love you forever. So I'm about to take my MacBook, two MacBook Pros to them right now. Hopefully they can at least fix one of them and I'm gonna bring him some Kit Kats, some Japanese Kit Kats as a thank you. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Also, I'll probably walk around my old campus so maybe I can show you guys around with me. All right, better focus on driving. This, this is looking quite dangerous. Gushy nostalgic for me to be here because I used to have some of my work hung up here not much but sometimes and yeah it's really nice to see other people's work and what they're doing now so I wanted to show you guys this place in the daytime but obviously it's nighttime now so I might come back in the daytime when I come back to pick up my laptops and then I can show you because it's really beautiful and I think it's more beautiful in the daytime than it is in the nighttime. In the nighttime it can be kind of spooky I guess. So they actually have a vending machine with art materials in it for those late nighters. That's so cool. This is new. It's an art center vending machine. Cool. I wonder what they ran out of.
Good morning, it's a brand new day, it's Friday and right now I'm on my way to the Arcadia Mall. I used to shop here all the time. I need a few things, I need some sunglasses, maybe a bra. Asian bras don't fit me, so yeah. Anyways, here we go. Thinking about maybe this shirt. They have a good deal. Oh, they have the white one too. Also, I thought the Lion King shirt was kind of cute. And Sleeping Beauty is my favorite. Two for 25. They have Pink Boy. Oh, M&M. Salt and Pepper. The Cher shirt's kind of cute. Oh look, they have the Sesame Street one. Oh my god, this is one. This is the one I want. How much is it? So they have all this Stranger Things merchandise here right now. A promotion. Look, they have the shorts and like the shirt. It's so cute. I really want this. This is so bomb. Oh my god. What is this? So look, they have these like little cheerleading type of outfits that are like Harry Potter related. Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw. Where's Slytherin? Oh, I guess they don't. They have a, a sweatshirt for Slytherin. So my mom likes this one that says, Como se llama? Como se llama? Diana. Diana. Oh, yeah. B221. Look at this. This is. <laughs> I have them on mine. Yeah. Yeah. They invited you to download the stickers, mom. We like them, no. Look at the skirt. Oh, it's got pockets. Oh, we like skirts with pockets. Yeah. Pockets. Yes, pockets. Squad black pink. I was just walking around. I haven't bought anything yet. I saw a bunch of t-shirts that I like, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy them quite yet. Oh, look at this. They have a Jigglypuff sweater. Oh my God, that's so cute. I want. I want, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Anyways, um, yeah, so I haven't found anything that I'm ready to make the commitment and purchase quite yet because I have some priorities that I need to buy first and then I can buy like the secondary items. But I do have a lot of things that are in the back of my mind right now that I do want to buy. So I'm in Los Angeles and somehow I ended up in Uniqlo. see this store. I don't know what this one is. Mini salt. What's mini salt? Mini salt. Huh? Mi mini salt. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> So apparently everything in the store is $10 and under. It's interesting. For, for surgical wound, ooh, these are $5.95, $6 for band-aids. That's a rip-off. They, they have a wide range of different colored mugs. All for $2.95, that's pretty good. Oh, clean up on aisle five. So we just left that store called Mini So, which I actually think is kind of weird because I really don't think it's Japanese. Like the there's katakana up on the sign, but it, the logo looks exactly like Uniqlo's logo. Like, and they're right across from each other. Like maybe I should show you that. But it's super weird. I actually think it's Korean, and they're posing it as a Japanese store because there's a lot of Korean stuff in there. Anyways, let me show you. They're like literally right across from each other. Mini So. Uniqlo. Uniqlo. Miniso. So here's my taiyaki, which by the way only came with an order of two or four. I could not just choose to have one. It's not as good as Japan, obviously, but not even close, you know? It's not that good. It's really not that good. Don't be like that. 
So I'm home now and I got me some beautiful shalom pao and gorgeous gyoza. Oh my god, my, from my favorite, favorite restaurant on Baldwin Avenue in Arcadia. I'll leave the information down below, but the best gyoza shalom pao. I haven't been able to find this quality, this kind of quality in shalom pao or gyoza in Japan yet. So if you guys know a really good gyoza place, Please let me know in the comments down below because by far this is my favorite but I'd like to find a new favorite in my hometown, you know?